this is Nikki. You know, a lot of people can be intimidated by the whole wine pairing process. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. Just keep these pointers in mind. Now mozzarella is one of my favorite cheeses, and these little caprese bites are the perfect thing to pair with a nice glass of Sauvignon Blanc. The light herbal taste of the wine really complements any Italian dish, these little bites included. Now when it comes to a light-bodied Pinot Noir, I like to serve it with some brie. The strong flavor of the cheese can really come through. And with my brie, I like to wrap it up in some crescent rolls and bake it and serve it that way. Check out the full recipe on the blog. A Cabernet is a big, bold wine, so you need a big, bold cheese that can keep up with it. I like to serve slices of Parmesan cheese with mine. Just be sure to take it out about 45 minutes ahead of time to really let that flavor come through. Rieslings can be sweet, and sweet wines go really well with salty cheeses. And although blue cheese stuffed dates sounds like a tough recipe to make, it's actually super easy. Check out the full recipe on the blog. See, it's that easy. You can host a wine and cheese party that appeals to everyone's tastes. For more tips, tricks, and creative kitchen ideas, visit ForksAndFlowers.com.